Hi everybody, this is Yishai from Stellarport. Today I'm going to show you how to deposit Ripple into your Stellar wallet using Stellarport in a matter of seconds. And here we go. So here I am on the Stellarport landing page and the first thing I need to do is log in. And so I'm going to log in using a play, just a play wallet that I've set up. Uh, you could use your own wallet. I'll type in my password and log in. And the next step after logging in to the Stellar Port wallet is to click deposit. You can click it up here or on the side and choose the deposit asset of choice. In this case, I'm going to deposit XRP and click next. After you click next, you're going to get a set of instructions that you need to follow in order to to deposit the Ripple, and you should pay attention to these carefully. Specifically, in the case of Ripple, you'll have a deposit address as well as a tag that you must add to the payment. In my case, I have this address and a tag of eight. Uh, and then on top of that, you'll also have deposit maximums and minimums that you have to obey. Uh, and, and so I'll switch over to this Play Ripple wallet that I've set up and paste in that address as well as the required tag of eight. And let me just choose an amount to deposit, um, how about 5.5. And submit. And so this is gonna submit the transaction to the Ripple network. And once that's submitted, uh, the Stellar port will uh, pick up on that and you, the XRP should be credited to your Stellarport wallet. And so now we'll switch over to the Stellarport wallet and see how long that takes. And there it is. 5.5 XRP, as you can see, takes just seconds. And that's because of the speed of Ripple and, St and Stellar networks. If I click over here on the history, I can see that here it is. I've been credited 5.5 XRP into this wallet. And if I switch over to balances, I can see my XRP balance. Oops, there it is, 12.25. It's because I had some XRP in there before. And if I click on this little button here, I can even trade it. So let's say I deposited some XRP and now I wanna buy some XLM with that XRP. Uh, I could sell my uh, XRP, let's say sell one XRP. And buy some XLM.